Hello and welcome to today's video on how to upgrade the firmware on your Moza Follow Focus units. We're going to start off by looking at the original iFocus, how to upgrade it and pair it with the gimbal or hand unit itself, and then move on to the iFocus M, how to upgrade it and once again pair with the Follow Focus unit or gimbal itself. And we'll finish off with looking at some of the new features in this version 2 firmware update. So we'll start off with the original iFocus unit. Now you need to plug this into the hand unit or the gimbal to complete the firmware upgrade. If you do it over the gimbal, there is compatibility issues with the original hand unit. So it's best if you plan to use it with an iFocus hand unit that you plug it in by the multi-can cable to this device to do the upgrade. If you don't have a hand unit, that's fine. Just do it over the gimbal. To begin the process, turn off the hand unit and the iFocus for low focus motor. Connect the hand unit to the iFocus via the multi-can cable and connect the hand unit to the computer via the USB-C cable. Press the power button on the iFocus for 3 seconds until the white indicator light appears and this means the iFocus is in upgrade mode. Hold the top button on the hand unit and then press the power button at the same time until you see boot mode appear on the screen. With the hand unit now in boot mode, open the Moza Master software on your computer and it should automatically enter the upgrade interface. After the firmware is downloaded, click the upgrade button and wait for the process to finish. During the upgrade, you'll see upgrading displayed on the screen. Once it's completed, you'll see upgrade success. After the firmware upgrade is complete, restart the iFocus hand unit and follow focus motor. If you had any issues upgrading the firmware, make sure you've installed the latest hardware drivers from within the Moza Master app. Now if you don't have the hand unit and only have the gimbal, then the process is very much the same. We're going to take the iFocus and plug it into the gimbal via the multi-can cable. You're then going to plug in your gimbal to the computer via the USB-C cable. Put the iFocus into boot mode by holding the power button for 3 seconds until the light turns white. Press and hold in the joystick button and then press the power button together until you see boot mode appear on the screen. Within the MosaMaster app you can now select your gimbal and begin the upgrade process. Once you see upgrade successful on the screen you can restart both units and they're ready for use. Now upgrading the firmware of the iFocus M is the easiest out of all of the devices because you literally just plug it into your PC via the USB-C port and then in the MosaMaster app click upgrade. There's no boot mode because it's instantly recognized and once it's upgraded, unplug it and it's good to go. Now make sure to upgrade your gimbal so that they're cross compatible because I've been stuck on a shoot where I upgraded the gimbal, didn't do the iFocus M and it just would not talk to the new firmware. So make sure you're upgrading everything all at once to the new version 2 firmware. So now that the firmware is updated on our hand unit and follow focus motor, we're going to pair the two devices together. So power on the hand unit first. Once it's powered on, you're going to go into the menu button and select wireless. Using the right arrow to select wireless and then also pair. With pairing displayed on the screen, hold down the power button of the focus unit. You're going to see the light blink until it goes solid and it says pair OK. With pair OK, use the left arrow to get back out to the main menu. Now, spinning the motor is going to do nothing on the follow focus unit until you calibrate the motor. So go back into your menu and go down to focus. Within focus you're going to be able to set A, B. Turn the lens on your camera to the start point of your focus ring. Press the right arrow. Turn your lens to the end point of its focus ring and press OK. With it calibrated turning the wheel will now make the teeth on the focus motor turn. If there's any abnormalities with your wheel then you may need to recalibrate it. To do so go back into the menu and go down to wheel. Here you're going to calibrate the endpoint of the wheel. So turn it to the start point and then press right to confirm. Turn it all the way to the end point and then press right as well to confirm. This will now just reset that track on your focus wheel to make sure that it's being tracked and running smoothly. Now with these devices set up you can mount your follow focus unit on a handheld rig or with the gimbal setup. And if you don't want to use the hand unit then just take the multi-can cable and plug the iFocus hand unit straight into the gimbal. When securing the iFocus to a 15mm rod on your gimbal, make sure the teeth are secured firmly against your lens. Balance the gimbal as usual on all axes, double checking that your multi-can cable is plugged in. Power on the gimbal and go into your menu settings. From within the menu settings of the gimbal, make sure to set the motor type as iFocus 2 so you're able to utilize the gimbal's wheel to pull focus. Otherwise you can unplug the multi-can cable, pair with the hand unit and pull focus remotely. 
Now there has been a downgrade to the recording function built into the hand unit, and that is the removal of two of the recording banks. So you used to have three, you now only have one. This has made it a lot more simple to use, so if you needed all three and you were constantly using all three, maybe don't upgrade. Uh, however, it is better because it is a lot easier to remember what's going on. So to make a focus pull recording, press and hold the left button. You now see the record option is flashing. Start moving the focus unit to pull focus, and then once you're done, press and hold the left again to finish the recording. To play back the focus recording, press and hold the right button, and this is going to initiate that recording. You can now see that it's pulling focus from that recording that I just did. So yes, this is a removal of some features, however, it's making it a lot cleaner uh, of a menu system and easier to operate. You can just remember, if I wanna record, I'm holding down the left button. If I wanna play back, I'm holding down the right button. It's quite simple, very clean cut, whereas before, trying to toggle through and play back between three recordings, trying to remember what you recorded on each bank, it just gets a little bit messy. This has just made it a lot more simple. With a firmware upgrade on your iFocus M, it's now time to mount it and your camera to your gimbal. Ensure the teeth of the follow focus unit are secured firmly against your lens with a 15mm rod. Plug in your multicam cable into the follow focus unit and then into the gimbal itself. Power on the gimbal and go into the menu settings to set the follow focus motor type as iFocus 2. This will now allow you to pull focus using the wheel on a Moza gimbal. If you want to pair the iFocus M with the hand unit, then just simply unplug the multicam cable, powering down the iFocus M, put the hand unit into pairing mode, and then plug in the iFocus M. This should pair the two devices together. This will allow you to have a separate focus puller pulling focus with the hand unit while having a gimbal operator using the iFocus M out in the field. <laughs> 